Did y'all know that Drake has a fragrance, which is allegedly his signature scent, which means it smells like him? It actually is a fragrance oil. Like, it's giving... I don't want to say mouthwash, like a sexy man just getting ready. Like, if he did his night routine, like Drake did his night routine on Instagram, I could see this being like his scent that he puts on after he brushes his teeth. And Y'all, y'all don't even know what I have for you guys today. We are getting into the world of two things that I love. One, fragrances. Two, Drake. Yeah, did y'all know that Drake has a fragrance, which is allegedly his signature scent, which means it smells like him? Y'all gonna tell me that I can get a fragrance that smells like Drake? Stop it. So I had to pick it up. I had to give you guys a review, give you a first impressions, and let you guys know if I think it is worth it because it's $200 for 10 milliliters. This better smell good, okay? That's all I have to say. This is the package, y'all, that is shipped in. I'm not obsessed with the packaging. It is just going straight in the trash, but for a $200 fragrance, I was expecting it to come into like a box because the mailman just threw this on my porch. And then when it comes to the shipping, it was honestly very fast. It maybe took a week not even counting like the weekend which was fine it just came out and i literally ordered it the day that it dropped so the shipping was pretty quick and the overall look of the website is super cute like i like still don't even know that it's drake's stuff when you look at the website it's giving chic it's giving luxury it is giving like oh this would cost me 200 dollars back here i do have one of his candles in sweeter tings which i reviewed last week if you guys watched that video but the brand is better world fragrance house and it's like adapted by drake and they have some really cool products like i really want to get this scent and the candle because i have a feeling i'm gonna really like it i just needed to see what the fragrance was going to give because maybe the candle is 80 dollars but i'm just saying like a candle that smells like drake like is priceless <laughs> let's get into this and i will show you guys what the packaging looks like again nothing crazy it's not giving me luxury so i feel like maybe in the future y'all can work on the packaging that this does come in so the fragrance itself came in like this plastic bag and this is the canister of the fragrance so you can tell it's very small it actually is a fragrance oil so pretty standard in size for most fragrance oils i like the canister of this cardboard packaging it did come sealed on the back like i said it's a fragrance oil roller 10 milliliters that retails for 195 usd it was free shipping in the us and canada if you spent at least 50 dollars so i can smell this already just through the cardboard packaging it honestly smells amazing. It smells very unique. It doesn't smell like any scent that I personally have in my collection. And I will say, fragrances are very unique. They might smell amazing in the bottle or in the roller container, but once you put it onto your skin, it's going to react and kind of work with your own body chemistry. So I definitely want to wear this and let you guys know how it kind of marinates on me. It looks like there's some oil that is on the bottle, like maybe it leaked out of the package. But it's like this really nice midnight blue color of a bottle. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit greasy. So I don't know if that's how it packaged, but that's why I can smell it because it's leaking. So I hope it doesn't leak because I wanted to throw this in my bag. It's like the perfect size to take with you on the go. So we definitely need to clean that off and watch it. But it just says Better World Fragrance House Scent Carby Musk Fragrance Oil. Very minimal. I really like the aesthetic of this. Again, the aesthetic of the website was super cute. And uh, I just hate that it's leaking. Drake, we gotta work on this packaging, baby, because it smells amazing already. But we can't have leaky fragrances that are oils that will stain our bags and our clothes. So... simple little metal ball put this on my wrist you can see how much product comes out when i just lightly roll it and 
it definitely has it's a unisex scent i want to say and i could see how it is unisex i do prefer more masculine scents like woody fragrances i like the ambers like the oud scents but i also like the sweet gourmand and warm floral fragrances so we're gonna get into the notes because like I said, it's a very unique scent. Like on one hand, I want to say it smells like a sophisticated grandpa, but I also want to say that it smells like a sexy man that you might see at like a whiskey lounge at the bar. I don't know, but if this is what Drake smells like, baby, I am here for it. I can honestly see him smelling like this. Yeah. And I could see how this would be nice again as a woman, but also a man as well. First impressions, I could definitely see this being a unisex scent. I'm just not happy about how it's leaking because $200 and most of it is on the canister here. So let's get into the notes. Put some of that behind my ears. Yeah, you can also put it like here on your collarbones, behind your kneecap. So how to use according to the website, which I think honestly is very self-explanatory. So it just says to gently apply the oil to your pulse points on the skin, such as your wrist and like your neck area. I like to put it behind my ears. I feel like the fragrance oil actually sits really well and lasts there throughout the day. You could also put it on like your kitchen not on your kitchen but like below the kitchen so like the back of your neck so whenever you go in to hug somebody also i would say areas like in the crook of your elbow tend to be a nice place to put a fragrance and some people put it behind their knee like behind your leg where your legs bend i don't really do that but um i really like this it's very potent for an oil and it's very concentrated when i was checking out and i was looking at the description of the notes like, honestly, I didn't really know what it was going to smell like, and based off of the notes, it did not smell like what it smells like, based on what I thought it was going to smell like. <laughs> I don't know, because it says that the scent profile is a floral amber musk, which makes me feel like it smells very girly and, like, I don't know, frou-frou. Like, I don't really like a lot of heavy florals unless they're sweet. So, it doesn't really give me that flirty, girly vibe. It gives me more of like a sexy, seductive fragrance. And then the top notes are listed to be Lily of the Valley. Dry notes is Amber Woods. So, very interesting. Like, it just did not smell the way that I thought it was going to in a really good way. Like, I'm very surprised with this scent and I feel like it's going to be loved by so many people men and women presenting a linear blend of 13 distinct musk ingredients compromising 12 musks within the formula the 13th and final touch is the individual wearer creating an unparalleled and unique scent that lingers in the air longer leaving a lasting impression for each individual's musk i feel like it's a very like warm masculine sexy sophisticated night fragrance i would definitely still wear this during the day i do think that it is potent when they did describe that but i'm most excited to see how this is going to kind of dry down on my skin and mix with my body chemistry throughout this day and honestly how long it lasts like how long i can kind of smell myself i like very strong intense fragrances if there's an intense version of a scent i'm most likely to pick that up over the original because i want people to smell me when i walk by i want to be able to smell myself you know an hour two hours throughout the day after applying the fragrance otherwise to me it's a waste of money but being that this is an oil i do feel like it will linger and last a lot longer throughout the day and i really got to get this off i'm just going to rub the bottle on my skin and hope that it kind of absorbs and I can just smell like it without wasting it and I'm gonna take this in my bag today and hope that it doesn't leak and it was just the way that it was shipped or packaged but it definitely gets a five out of five star for the packaging itself and the rollerball application doesn't come out very dry like some fragrances might I think the price point again I'll revisit that and let you guys know if I feel like it is worth it with the wear and I'll edit that on the screen for you guys here. The shopping experience with the shipping time, 5 out of 5 stars. And the fact that this is Drake's signature scent, I think, is a selling point on its own. And I do feel like the website and the brand itself with the candles and the marketing doesn't really scream Drake. And I kind of like that. It's more low-key than like a Skims, you know, where Kim Kardashian is the face, the model of everything. It's very low-key. And it's the fact that I didn't even know that this was his line that really did it for me because I really like that and I feel like it's just a really nice collaboration. So the scent also for me 
after putting it on, it almost has a little sweetness to it. Like, it, it just smells really nice after wearing it for like 12 minutes. I don't know. I want to put some more on because, again, I really want to be able to smell this today. Figure out if it is going to be my new signature scent because it only makes sense. I know they say don't rub your wrists together. It alters the fragrance, but it's an oil. I need to blend it in. Oh yeah, and my jewelry today, if you guys have been peeping, my rings are all from Ana Luisa. I am loving just mixing a bunch of different pieces together. So cute. I'm going to link them below as well too in case you guys are looking for some jewelry to buy. It's super affordable, you guys. Like pieces starting at $39. So definitely check them out. They are doing like a Valentine's Day sale. So if you want to get some savings and get, I don't know, your man this fragrance and get yourself some jewelry, it might just be like the perfect combo. But I decided to get this for myself for Valentine's Day. And honestly, perfect timing. Kudos to Drake for that. I think this will do really well. I am interested to see if it does sell out on the website. So let me know if you will be someone that will pick this up. I do think that you could blind buy this fragrance if you've never even smelled the candle version. But if you are a little bit iffy, you could go to Ulta and see if your location has the Carby Musk candle. And I remember smelling it. It was sold out. Like I said, it was $80 and it is advertised to be drake's signature scent so i could see why but give it a smell i think you guys will really like it it honestly like is giving me chills like how good and unique this is i'm not being biased because i like drake let's be real let's keep it 100 i'll tell you if i don't like something in a heartbeat but i really do like how this smells it almost has like a minty scent and i i, I didn't put anything on besides cocoa butter so i wanted to give this an honest review like it's giving i don't want to say mouthwash like a sexy man just getting ready like if he did his night routine like drake did his night routine on instagram i could see this being like his scent that he puts on after he brushes his teeth and puts on you know his mouthwash and leaves the crib i don't know like it's giving a minty feel I'm not picking up any floral scents though, so that is one thing that I find to be interesting. I am really happy about this purchase. I think the packaging is really cute. That's pretty much all I have to say about my first impressions review on the Carby Musk fragrance from Better World Fragrance House, brought to you by Drake. Yeah, it's smelling really nice on me, honestly. I just feel like it's still giving me a minty feel. Let me know if you pick it up and you get that hint as well. Don't forget to thumbs up if you guys enjoy videos like this, first impression reviews, and also subscribe if this is your first time stopping by, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!